Hello, this is going to be an updated re-upload of my asset bundle guide from my custom items video. Some of the information in that video is outdated at this point, and I just kind of wanted to clean it up and release it as a separate, purely asset bundle focused package. To start, we'll need a few more tools. I'll put all of these links in the description again. First, UtinyRipper will allow us to convert our game directory into a Unity project where we will have access to existing assets and be able to build our own custom versions. To support that, we'll also need to get Unity Hub and add a free personal license. We'll then need to download Unity 2019.4.20, which you can get here with the Unity Hub download link after it is installed. After installing these tools, open up UtinyRipper and you should see this screen. You need to drag your entire game directory in. After doing so, your window should look like this. Click Export, then pick somewhere to save your project. After the process is complete, you should have a folder called Valheim that contains assets and project settings. Since this is a long process, I would recommend copying this directory somewhere else to work in case you need to use the clean export again later. After choosing a working directory, copy the path to the folder containing the Valheim export. Open Unity Hub, select Add. Go to the path of your export, select the Valheim folder, and click Select Folder. You should see a project get loaded with Unity version 2017. Change the version to 2019.4.20. Then click the project. We'll need to upgrade, so select Confirm. This process will take a minute. After the upgrade is complete, your project should look something like this. We are going to add a new version of the Iron Sword, so let's find that prefab. You'll see that the sword loaded without textures. This is a problem with the Ripper export that can be easily fixed. Select Edit, Project Settings, Graphics, then scroll down and find the Deferred Shader setting. Change this from Custom Shader to Built-in Shader. Close the window. Additionally, some items don't load the mesh correctly. To fix this, select Viking Sword under Attach and change the shader to Standard. You should then be able to see the Iron Sword. To make our version, we're going to add a new folder to Assets called Custom Items. Return to the prefab for the sword. Press Control D or go to Edit and select Duplicate. Then drag the duplicate into your custom items folder. From here, we can rename the sword to anything we want. Generally, you would edit the prefab further at this point, but since this is a sample, I'm just going to leave it as is. Before we can export our item, we need to fix how the scripts are referenced. Since Valheim uses a number of assemblies, we need to go into each folder, right click and create a new assembly definition. Name the definition the same name as the folder.
After you have created an assembly definition in each folder, you need to link them together to get rid of these compilation errors. To do so, click the assembly definition and add new references until the references are fixed. You can do this by hitting this button and picking whichever references you need to repair. As far as I can tell, the assembly references only need to be added to the assembly Valheim assembly definition in this manner. You may need to add some references to the other definitions if you have further issues. After fixing the script references, we are ready to build an asset bundle. Go to Window, Package Manager, and find Asset Bundle Browser. Install this package. Close this window, and you are ready to add your item to the package. Click on all of the items you want to be in your bundle. Select None next to Asset Bundle, New, and name your bundle. After you are done with this, go to Window, select Asset Bundle Browser. You should see your created bundle. To build this bundle, click Build, and then Build. Navigate to this directory in reference to your Unity project. You should see your exported bundle. To get your bundle into your mod project, simply drag the file onto the project in Visual Studio. Then click the bundle and swap the build action to embed it. I'm not going to show how to use the bundle in code in this video, but I'll link an example below. Hopefully this was helpful as a standalone guide and feel free to reach out if you have any additional questions. Thanks for watching and have a good one.